And if you go to all the developed countries, at a point in time in their history, they were spending most of their resources on infrastructure, which we neglected in this country. I think this bill, Mr. Speaker, is apt. We want to thank you very much for bringing it. I want to use this opportunity to also thank all my colleagues who have supported it. Not one person have spoken against this bill, Mr. Speaker. I want to come closer to home. As a medical doctor, Mr. Speaker, I want to tell you that Nigerian doctors are one of the finest in the world. And yet, currently in the whole of Africa, we have the highest number of medical tourism. The reason is because we don't have state-of-the-art hospitals with the latest equipment that the doctors can use to treat our patients. If this bill is approved and accented to, and I want to also add my voice to the fact that let's add the word minimum of 40% to this uh, bill, Mr. Speaker. If we can have a proper referral hospital, one at least per geopolitical zone, all this issue of medical tourism would have been solved. And most of our Nigerian doctors that are currently in the diaspora will come to Nigeria, use the facilities that we are able to equip the hospitals to treat our people. And we should not forget that health is wealth. If we want to get more money to spend on capital projects, we must make sure at least 15% of that budget in the capital goes to the health sector. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for bringing this fantastic bill.